about you? Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm Easy Go Golf Cart Pit Stall. I gotta fix this thing. Today I've got to replace the steering gear box on my 2003 Easy Go TXT golf cart. We put a lift kit on this thing, and so it automatically makes my mind think it's a four-wheel drive, right? But uh, it, it ain't. So uh, we do. This thing's held up incredibly well for us. Uh, but I did break the steering gear box. I'm gonna fix that. I bought the part off of Amazon. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, Anything you buy off Amazon, you can use that link uh, and it will take you straight there. You pay the same prices, but it does help our channel out just a little bit if you use our Amazon affiliate link. Let's take a look at the part I broke and how I plan on fixing it. As you can see here, the boot is ripped. The, the actual cast aluminum or cast metal come off of the bracket here and here. So it's broken two places so you can kind of see how it kind of is not secure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gunk degreasing wipes. I'm going to tell you, these guys have sent me this product to use. But I'm telling you, these things are amazing. Uh, you can clean engines with them. You can do whatever. You can also buy them from my Amazon affiliate link down there. But this, uh, this you'll see how good these things work. I've used them on several videos. As I get this part cleaned up, this way it keep me halfway clean as I take off the old broke part. Here's the new part I got off Amazon. I don't remember what I think I get 65 bucks for it, something like that. So it wasn't it wasn't cheap but it wasn't expensive I guess you'd say but anyway it does come pre-greased on this but I'm going to add a little more grease to it uh, and then it fits perfectly this good thing about these easy goes is I think 2000 and a half and up are pretty much the same golf cart as far as the mechanics are involved uh, this is a battery operated golf cart so I just have these three three bolts to take off here uh, the castle bolt to take off over the castle nut to take off over here and the steering knuckle here. And I'll have this thing whipped here in, I don't know, a couple minutes. Let's watch the process. These three bolts here, I'm gonna start with. These actually have one on the bottom as well. So you have to secure the bottom and the top. These are 16 millimeter. And you also, I don't know if you knew this or not, but you also have to put your ratchets so that they're in the loosen mode. An air wrench probably would be good right now. All right, this third bolt back here in the back is actually a five, or it's an 11 16. So you have two bolts up front that are 16 millimeter, whatever the standard equivalent is. And then the one in the back, I used an 11 16 to take it off. Fortunately, 
for the broke one, I was able just to take this part off, leave the tie rod in here, and I can just now I can just remove the the actual tie rod in from the linkage. So if I if I wasn't if I didn't have a broke gearbox, then I would have to kind of I might you might even need a I think they're called ball joint separators, uh, little forks that you slide in there to get that out, or you might use what I call the persuader. <laughs> anyway, that helps get them out too. We're gonna put this new gearbox on, steering gearbox on. I'll just go ahead and put the tie rod in here first. All right. Actually, let's put this in first over here. Let's kind of put it back in the opposite of the way we pulled it out. So I'll put it in there. This back side bolt does not line up with the original, but it does have a hole that, that modifies it. So, you know, the different year models will have different configurations. It does fit, I just gotta move the, bo uh, the bolt. And in order to do that, I've gotta loosen the steering to drive here. I did forget, I forgot to put these spacers back on when I put on the, the part back on the first time. I, and I, I got to cranking on that thing, I was like, that ain't right. And I looked down and I said, oh, that's because I didn't put my spacers back in there. And so I had to take the nuts and bolts back loose and put those back in there. But, you know, that's part of being a, a novice mechanic, you know. I, I can take off and put back on. Sometimes you have to, you know, sometimes you forget a part. It's like putting Christmas toys together for, for little kids on Christmas, right? So, <laughs> sometimes you have parts left over or whatever, so. We got her working now, and she's ready to go. Hey, listen, if you like videos like this, you know, we do all kinds of stuff around the hobby farm. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to hit that little red subscribe button underneath the video. Kind of helps our channel grow. We do a lot of tractor videos, a lot of hobby farm videos, and just, you know, daily life around Hamiltonville Farm. There's going to be a little white circle pop up over here. That's the little icon that you hit, and that'll take you to our subscribe page as well. We appreciate you watching. Until next time, we'll catch you on the next video.